Hello, my name is Nell and I have things to say about disability, chronic illness and mental health. I live with all of these things and on my channel, in my videos, I talk about them openly, honestly, no holding back. If that sounds like something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Come back every Wednesday when I upload new videos. Let me know what you think of my videos in the comments section. And if you know of somebody who would benefit from or enjoy one of my videos, please feel free to share in the link. Uh, I have been wearing hearing aids for about a year now. I can't believe that it has been so long, but also that it has gone so quickly. And in that year, I have discovered some tips and tricks that have helped my experience with hearing aids, and now I want to share them in the hopes that they might help somebody else. So here are my 10, 10 tips for people who wear hearing aids. Number one, always put your hearing aids back in their case. My hearing aids came with this case. I'm assuming that most hearing aids do come with a case. Always make sure that you're putting your hearing aids back in their case when you take them out. Not only when you're taking them out for long periods of time, such as when you're going to sleep at night, but even if you're taking them out for short periods of time, such as when you're having a nap, having a shower, or when you leave the house to go and have a haircut done, put them back in their case. Don't leave them sitting on a table or a bench where they can easily get knocked off and trodden on or crushed. Always make sure you're putting them back in their case where they're going to be safe. Number two. Disconnect the batteries when you're not using your hearing aids. Uh, with my hearing aids, that can be done by opening up the back section and just making sure that it's not fully closed. This means that your hearing aids aren't using their batteries when you're not using them. It prolongs the life of your batteries, meaning that you're not changing batteries as often and not going through your battery supply so quickly. Number three. Keep your hearing aids clean. Hearing aids come with a small brush that you can use to gently brush out any little bits of um, skin fibers, hair fibers, um, and little bits of wax that can build up on your hearing aids. It's important to do this usually at, at least once a week, once or twice a week, but ideally each time you take your hearing aids out to make sure that that buildup of wax isn't getting out of control. Number four, keep your ears themselves clean. Now, your ears can get a buildup of wax, which is what can affect your hearing aids, but having very clean hearing aids isn't going to do much if your ears themselves are not kept clean. Use a cotton tip and just use it on this outside um, edge of your ear. Do not put a cotton bud too far in your ear. It's unnecessary and it's dangerous. Just use it on this outside edge, where it's, which is where your hearing aid sits. Make sure you keep both your hearing aids and your ears clean of wax. Number five. Keep your case in your bag when you leave the house, if you have a bag that you take with you. This means that if you're in any situation where you need to take your hearing aids out, for example, like I said earlier, getting your hair cut, or there have been times when I've been in a hospital situation or at the dentist when I'm lying back and I'm there's a risk that my hearing aids will, might wriggle out of my ears, then it's really important that you have your case with you so that you can put them safely in there and again, they're not going to get lost, they're not going to get crushed. Number six, something that I've found personally helpful is that when I take my hearing aids out at night and I put them in this case, I put this case in my handbag. That means that the next day I know exactly where they are and I can pop them in. But also if I forget to pop them in before I leave and I'm on my way to my destination, I know that they're already with me and I'm not going to forget them no matter what. Number seven, on this case, keep your name and your phone number on it somewhere. I've used my label maker to make sticky labels that I've put on here. You could also use permanent marker. Make sure you've got your name and, and number on this case somewhere. That means that if you lose it somewhere, then whoever finds it has a way of contacting you. I've also put my client number for Hearing Australia on here so that if I have any issues when I'm on the go and I don't have access to my paperwork at home, it means that I can still call them and give them the information that they need. Number eight. Keep batteries in this case. I always keep a sheet of batteries in my case at all times. This means that if I'm on the go and I hear that battery failure sound in my hearing aids, I can quickly pop in a fresh set of batteries and I'm not gonna be caught short wherever I go. Number nine, order your batteries early. Don't wait until you've just put your last 
set of hearing aid batteries in your hearing aids before you order them. I wait until I put this last sheet in my hearing aids case before I order them because this last sheet lasts me three weeks. So I know I'm three weeks ahead. I'm not going to get caught short. Number 10. Try your best to become comfortable with telling people that you are hearing impaired and that you wear hearing aids. There are situations where you might need to give this information. I've been at medical centers where they've got a radio playing and there's a glass sheet in front of the receptionist and I cannot hear them. I cannot hear them. And so I have to say, I am hearing impaired. I wear hearing aids. I am trying my best to hear you, but you need to speak with more clarity. You need to speak slowly and clearly so that I can hear you. Nine times out of 10, people are incredibly understanding and compassionate and will meet you where you are at, but they won't know and they can't help if you don't tell them. It can be confronting, especially when you're young. I'm 32. I was 31 when I started wearing hearing aids and it can be very confronting to admit to having a hearing impairment when you are so young, but it really helps because sometimes our faithful little friends cannot do the job on their own. They need a little bit of help. And so do we. There is no shame in it. Sometimes we've just got to be okay with that. All right. Those are my 10 tips for people who wear hearing aids. I really hope these were helpful. Um, if you have any extra tips that you have learned from wearing hearing aids, please add them in the comments. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All right. Bless.